Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Ardoin Medium Achievement Diary. There are a whole bunch of quests, skills and item requirements. Most notably is that after you've completed the Enlightened Journey quest, you're able to unlock four different balloon routes. And the one that we will need to use to complete this Medium Diary task is the one to Castle Wars. If you haven't unlocked any additional balloon routes after you've completed the Enlightened Journey quest, then I would highly suggest you to First, plant your strawberry seeds in the allotment patch of Ardoin, and then afterwards watch my separate guide how to unlock all four of the balloon routes. You can choose to do all four of them or just the one to Castle Wars, but unlocking the one to Varrock is needed for the Varrock Medium Diary, and unlocking the one to the Grand Tree is required for Monkey Madness 2. For the recommended items, as always, some weight reducing clothing, and between one and two stamina potions should be enough, a weapon to kill a combat 46 sword chick, one basket of apples if you want to hire the gag member to protect your strawberry seeds, a rake in a seed dipper which can be stored in the two leprechaun, and at least one empty inventory slot. For the teleports that I'm going to be using in this guide is one teleport to the Ardoin Monastery, I'm going to be using our Ardoin Cloak number one, one teleport to any unlocked hot air balloon. I'm going to be using the one in Varrock because I've already unlocked all four balloon routes before starting this guide. One teleport to West Ardy and one teleport to East Ardoin. With that all out of the way, let's get started with these 12 achievement diary tasks. The first one I'm going to start here at north of the Ardoin market. Let's right click and pickpocket the master farmer. And this will be your first task. Next up, let's go a little bit northeast and go to the farm. Do I have any tools with the guy? Let's take the rake and the seed dibber and rake the allotment patch. Once it's cleared, let's use the strawberry seeds on it. And let's exchange with the leprechaun to put the tools back in there. If you've brought your basket of apples to protect them, then right click on Kragen, the gag member here, and pay the northern or the southern side. Yes. Now we just need to wait exactly one hour before these are fully grown. But I'm not gonna wait here, there are still 10 more tasks to do. Let's go southeast and let's run all the way passing the mine to the quest start of the Sea Slug quest. That is just southeast of the Ardoin mine. Following the shore south, so you see the transportation and the quest sign. Let's not travel with Holgard, but with Jeb, right click and travel. Once we have arrived at the fishing platform, go a little bit northeast, and there you should find two fishing signs. Right click and use the small net option. Once you've caught something, let's use the Ardoin Monastery teleport. And let's make our way east. You may drop your small fishing net as well as whatever you've caught. Next up, we're gonna be using the fairy ring. So equip the Lunar or the Dremen Staff and configure with the fairy ring. Let's use the code BIS to go to the Ardoin Zoo. Next up, let's right click and configure and use the code AIR to go to the island next to the Necromancer Tower. Next, right click and configure to D. JP to go back to where we have started. And let's enter the Tower of Life just next to you. Let's go south to the dungeon sign and climb down a trap door. Next up, go southwest. Here, southwest of the ladder, there you'll find a symbol of life. Use your raw chicken on it, as well as some raw swordfish. Then activate it. 
and that should spawn a sword chick. Defeat it. After we've defeated the sword chick, let's make our way to an e hot air balloon. I'm gonna be using the one next to the earth altar. If you don't see any hot air balloon here and you still see a big boulder, that means that you've yet to have followed my hot air balloon transportation guide. Please follow that guide first before continuing with this guide. Castle Wars level 50 fire making, items needed. 10 U logs to unlock the route. Then, to complete the Ardoin Medium Diary task, you will need to have any kind of lock or teleport to go back to any hot air balloon, and then one additional U lock to travel from that hair balloon back to Castle Walls. Here, next to August, you should find a lock storage. Click on Store and store everything that you currently have. The next route is going to Castle Wars. Let's right click and fly with August and select Castle Wars on the map. For the first screen, let's drop two sandbags and then burn one log. Next, relax five times. Next, pull the red rope, then burn one log, relax twice, pull a red rope, relax twice, burn two logs, and relax three times. For the second location, burn one log and relax twice. Then pull a red rope, then pull a brown rope, relax seven times. Till we're in the corner, then drop a sandbag, relax twice, pull a red rope, burn one log, pull a brown rope, and relax once. For the final screen, let's burn one log, relax twice, pull the brown rope once, relax three times, till we're in a corner again, then burn one log, then pull the red rope, relax four times, then drop a sandbag, pull the red rope again, Relax twice and pull the brown rope. This will grant you 2000 fire making experience and you have unlocked the hot air balloon near Castle Wars. Now, how to complete your RD medium diary task? Once you've unlocked the hot air balloon transportation methods, let's fly with any assistant, it doesn't matter which one, and use one U lock to travel to Castle Wars. Next, let's go south. All the way there, let's check our Ardoin Medium Achievement Diary Log. And the fourth one from the bottom should say that we should collect some Cave Nightshade in the Scavid Caves. Now this task is automatically completed if you have completed that part during the Watchtower quest. Find a Cave Nightshade. Pick this up and then exit the cave. We will now need to make our way back to the Scared Scavid. If you haven't completed the Watchtower quest yet up until that part, then I suggest you to watch my Watchtower quest guide and follow it until you've unlocked the Scavid Caves so you can continue with your Ardoin Medium Diary. Next, go east until you see a shortcut sign on the southern wall of Yanil. Equip your Myth Grapple and your Crossbow and try to find the Grapple option. What do you mean you can't reach? You're standing right underneath it. Oh. Alright. Once you're on the wall, let's jump across straight ahead. And that is one of the final medium diary tasks completed. Once you're in your nil, let's go north and let's go to bird. Let's open the door, right click on bird, select the sand option, and he will deliver some sand to your bank and completing another medium diary task. 
If you don't have a bank and you're an Ultimate Iron Man, then you will need to bring along a bucket, which you can buy in the store just next here. There should find a gag member. Buy a bucket of compost, empty it, then go back to Bird and use the empty bucket on his sandpit to complete your medium diary task. Next up, we're done in Yanil, so let's make our way back to Ardoin by simply using the teleport. If you can't use the Ardoin teleport, that means that you've yet to read the scroll after you've completed the Plague City quest. Either that scroll is in your bank, or talk to Edmund to receive your scroll. Read the scroll, and then you're able to teleport. Alright, now there are just two more tasks remaining, with one of them being waiting for the strawberries. For the final task, let's teleport to West Adi. And let's go northwest. Let's make our way to the underground pass entrance. So if you do not own a Iban staff, you can make your way to the entrance and there you should find Kovtik. Talk to him and he will give you a broken Iban staff. After you have received it from Kovtik, go a little bit east to the first building and there around or inside you should find a dark mage. Talk to him and he will fix your broken Iban staff for 200,000 GP. Once we have a fixed Iban staff and additional 200,000 GP, let's talk to the Dark Mage. Can you upgrade my Iban staff? Select option 2. Yes, here is 200,000 GP. And that is your upgraded Iban staff. Now we simply need to wait for our strawberries to be grown. About 15 minutes later, the strawberries should be done. And we just need a speed. Harvest one strawberry to complete the final medium and dairy task. Now we simply need to make our way to the Flying Horse Inn, north of the castle, just south where you start the Plague City quest to claim our rewards. The rewards are an antique lab that will grant you 7500 experience in any skill that is above level 40, 100 noted pure essence per day from Wizard's Comparty, Three daily teleports to the Ardoin farm patch. Some drops in the Tower of Life are now noted. 10% increase to succeed pickpocketing inside the inner walls of Ardoin, which means Master Farmers don't work. You will need to unlock the Heart Diary for that. The ability to toggle the Ring of Life teleport to Ardi. And more runes when crafting Essence at the ZMI or the Urania Altar. This was my guide how to complete the Ardoin Medium Achievement Diary. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, bye bye.